We are here with President Arturo Rodriguez of the United Farm Workers. Mr. Rodriguez, can you tell us the importance of this event? Well, today we're celebrating the ninth annual Cesar Chavez Walk here in Los Angeles with lots of students that are coming out today and joining with us. And the message is that one is that we got to continue bringing about change in our schools and our communities through nonviolence. And then secondly, that all of us can make a difference. All of us can bring about better things in our society by just giving service to others. And so we're encouraging all the young people to really join in and looking to, for different ways. Today's to be a day on. Now, Sports Wrap Up covers community events and obviously uh, sports for inner city youth and all over, the, all over Los Angeles. For a lot of the students that walked out of their high schools, do you think that's something, that's a message that we should support or any other ideas on that? Well, you know what? We celebrate their commitment that they have and the passion that they have about Cesar Chavez and recognizing someone that comes from their community. And that's important. But at the same time, we want to really dedicate our time and our energy towards giving service to the community. I think that's what Cesar would like at this time for all of us to really follow his example in that particular way. And that's important. And that way we help our community. We help ourselves by feeling good about what we're doing. And most importantly, hopefully we're helping those that are less fortunate than we are in a very special way. We're here with Apple from the Black Eyed Peas. Can you tell me why are you here today? What's the importance of your contribution? Well, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's important for us to give back to the community. I myself came from a, a farming family. And you know, I, I know the struggle that, that people go through. So uh, you know, it's an honor to be here. Why do you think it's important that we reach out to young people about telling them who Cesar Chavez was and the legacy that he leaves behind? Well, because, uh, you know, the, 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 young is, the young people is the future. So if you, if you install that to them, they will, they'll, bring up, they'll bring up these values as they grow up. And here is Jacob, a local community organizer that came and brought hundreds of students, right? Yes. Yeah, How old are you, Jacob? I'm 16. And what is it that you're doing? Um, we're bringing all our sales schools from different sites, Pomona, the Valley. We're bringing them out to uh, celebrate Cesar Chavez um, because he has helped our community, our families a lot. So we decided to inform our communities, bring everybody together, and just help us out with this walk, you know, and say that si se puede, you know, just bring him out and help everybody. How many students do you think you brought out today? Um, thousands of students. As of right now, we have we know there's thousands of students and parents that have come out. So we are here at Olvera Street celebrating the Cesar Chavez 9th Annual Celebration and March Walk. There's so many schools here, young people, politicians, uh, community organizers that have come out and support this great day celebration. What we're trying to do is make Cesar Chavez a national and statewide holiday. So it's important that you contact your local elected officials and let them know the importance of this great event. Behind me are all of the supporters that are here for the 9th Annual Cesar Chavez Day. It's important that you come out and celebrate as well. I'm Wendy Carrillo for Power 106 Knowledge is Power, celebrating community events with you, sports wrap-up. Back to you in the studios.